Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Prime Time, and you already know you're on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh, man, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Han Blackchowitz done lost his belt, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know it was some cats already waiting to <laughs> congratulate him on his loss. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think these guys know actually friends. <laughs> but Corey Anderson and John Jones, you know, they had to take the opportunity to hop right on Han. Black Twist and let him know uh, that his light heavyweight title in the UFC 267 main event has come to an end. <laughs> Crazy, you know. Anyway, they were in Ethad Arena on Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi. Woo! Bellator contender Anderson, 16 and four MMA, three and O BMMA, and Black Twist, 28 and nine MMA, 11 and six in the UFC. Went back and forth in the media about the idea the Bellator fighter could be the best 205 fighter in the world. The pair met, you know what I'm saying? And from there, it just, it, it pretty much was, you know, <laughs> You know, they, they met, I think, like uh, twice in the UFC. Yep. Anderson, he won by decision in 2015, and Blackwich won by knockout in 2020. And it was clear that both men were, you know, pretty much uh, pissed off with each other, mad with each other, jealous of each other, whatever the case may be. Um, but, um, you know, when... Black Twitch, he suffered a second round submission loss to Glover Texter to end his title reign. Anderson, he went right on the Twitter. <laughs> and this is what Corey Overtime Anderson had to say. He said, as I said, huh, was worried about me after I handled my business and forgot he had his own business. Hashtag UFC 267. <laughs> wow. And then he also went on to say again, Glover handled my lightweight. Anybody can get caught with a big shot, but there's no luck in three rounds of ground and pound or a two-round submission. Hashtag UFC 267. Man, man, man. So, you know, you thinking like, shoot, that was going to be it for you? No, nah, man. You know, John Jones had to get his little two-piece in there. <laughs> Old Bone Jones. He done went up there and said, talk about, see what happens when you talk to S, not focusing on the opponent right in front of you. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> wow, 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 you know. And, you know, Black Switch, you know, he was definitely discouraged, you know, um, seeing his UFC title run come to an end so quick. Um, but he did promise, you know, at the end of the fight to rebound stronger, you know. So, you know, he definitely can, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I tell you what, the guys didn't take no time, and I do mean no time, <laughs> to voice their opinion. You know, because you remember John Bon Jones vacated the title, and that's how Han Blackwood got it. So that's why him and Han got that little beef, because, you know, Han called him out and was like, yeah, John Jones, you know, stop ducking me. Come on out and fight me, you know. Come out of your retirement and fight me and all this and that. But, you know, I think John Jones heard that. And, you know, this right here lets you know that he did hear it. He just didn't uh, reply to it, I guess, because he didn't feel no need. But as you can see, he was training for heavyweight. So he was trying to, I guess, stay the course and stay focused on what he was doing and not worrying about fighting that light heavyweight 
um, with a title that he gave up so that he could go for the heavyweight title. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But also, <laughs> Corey Anderson, he over there at Bellator, he talking all this smack, you know. I'm thinking like, he, he in the UFC talking all this joke. He over there at Bellator, man. So what you think about this guy so much, man? But it let you know that, you know, they got unfinished business and you know, one day I would like to see them. It would be a good fight seeing Bellator uh, baddest Corey Anderson go against the UFC uh, Han Blackwoods. You know what I mean? That would be a tight fight. Who, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe something like that could happen, but I doubt it. You know, these companies, they try to keep their own money. So with that being said, that's this video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Go to the website, cop some merch there, y'all. All right, peace.